beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are reviewing the Freeman Tweaked Mellow Dog Heidi Whistle. Now, if you haven't heard of Jerry Freeman, he is world famous for tweaking whistles. And what that means is taking whistles that used to play really, really well from days gone by that have fallen victim to mass production and during that have kind of lost their magic, lost their spark. And Jerry Freeman tweaks these whistles, makes adjustments to them, and makes them sound their best all over again. Now there is a fascinating story behind the origins of the Jerry Freeman mellow dog whistle, and originally it was made from two different whistles, and that was a Fadogue C whistle for the mouthpiece, and a Walton's mellow D whistle for the body of the mellow dog. And the Fadogue dog, and the mellow D, Mellow came together to create the Mellow Dog. Now since then Jerry has actually moved on to making his own tone bodies for these whistles, so they are a whistle in their own right, they're less of a tweaked version but more of a combination of skills to make that gorgeous sound that this type of whistle used to have. So today I'm going to show you some close-ups, give you some idea of how Jerry does his tweaking process, and of course let you know how this sounds. Now if we look at the close-up of the whistle mouthpiece, you might see some resemblance to the Fadogue mouthpieces if you have a Fadogue whistle at home, but you'll also see some differences. And as you can see here on the blade section, the blade has been extended somewhat. Inside the mouthpiece you might see there's some filling underneath the cavity, and in these whistles there's usually a, a gap or a cavity or a hole underneath in this mouthpiece, and that is a product of mass-produced whistles and the moulds that these whistle heads are made in. So this has been filled with a specially designed substance that Jerry has made from years of experience, which uh, enables these whistles to keep their resonance and their clarity of tone without muffling the sound that comes from them. So we've got an extension or a moulding development of the blade here and that filling up here in the cavity. As we move slightly further down, you'll also see a ring, and this metal ring is keeping this mouthpiece secure and stable, and what that does is it prevents the plastic mouthpiece from cracking over time, extending the longevity of your whistle. As we move further down the whistle you'll see you have the Jerry Freeman Tweet logo here, with the mellow dog, and the key of whistle as well. Moving further down the tone body you'll notice the holes, and as we mentioned this is a slightly wider bore whistle than a regular D whistle, and the holes have been drilled and positioned by Jerry himself. This is a whistle where the tone body has been made by Jerry rather than taken from another whistle, so everything has been lined up here and fitted together to ensure that the sound produced from this is the best quality possible and it is perfectly in tune. Now first impressions of the Mellow Dog it looks great, it's a very lightweight little whistle, um, doesn't feel overly large or heavy in the hands. It's one of those whistles you feel that you could just throw in the car with you, take with you in a backpack and uh, just enjoy. So it's probably going to be one of those reliable whistles in your collection. But the question is, how does it actually sound? Let's give it a try. So some initial thoughts on the overall sound of this whistle. It is quite a loud whistle, it's nice and bright, 
clear. It does have a little bit of texture to it, that touch of chiff almost has that little chirpy tone to it, which is quite typical of um, whistles with a brass body and a plastic mouthpiece of the generation for Doe sort of style, in my experience. It's perfectly easy enough to hit the high notes on this, they come out nice and clearly. The bell note has a rich, deep sort of tone to it, nice and strong, and there's good strength throughout the half holes, as you've heard. Again, the hole size on this makes it really easy to half hole because you don't really need to open the hole very wide to hit those uh, chromatic notes, which is great. The big question is, does it pass the tuning test? So as you can see there, we're hitting some great notes. There is um, the tendency to overblow slightly on this whistle, which puts the notes a little bit on the sharp side. So when you do get one, bear in mind, you don't actually need as much breath as you might think. Um, you can reduce your wind speed a little bit to still hit the notes, which means you've got more breath to play with, which is really great. So you've heard the raw sound of this whistle. Let's hear it with a little reverb. So that is about all from me today on the Jerry Freeman Mellow Dog Whistle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can find this whistle, which retails for just under 50 US dollars at the moment on Jerry's eBay page, which I will link in the description down below. You'll also find his other range of whistles. Um, you'll find the Bluebirds, the Blackbirds. He has tweaked generation whistles, um, even a tweaked Clark original at the moment. And I do actually have um, the tweaked generation to show you as well, alongside his um, Arabian sounding klezmer whistle which I'll be uh, yeah, reviewing on the channel in the coming weeks, so if you'd like to hear those, stay tuned for those as well. You can also find all sorts of different keys of whistle on... You can also find whistles in all sorts of keys on Jerry's eBay as well. Again, I've linked it in the description below. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have questions about these whistles, leave those in the comments down below as well, because I know Jerry is on um, social media a lot, so he might see those and reply directly to you. If you can think of other whistles that you would like me to review, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, the tune today I was playing was called Celtic Law. You guys will find a tutorial for that right here. And don't forget to check out some of my other whistle reviews right here on screen as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you you guys have a great week. I will see you next week for some more Tin Whistle awesomeness. Bye!